Hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial and today I'm going to show you how I made this. Okay guys, this is an animated Pokemon ball. We'll create everything from scratch in Cinema 4D, export the model into Adobe After Effects, and using Element 3D, we'll animate our scenes. So guys, let's jump into Cinema 4D and start modeling our Pokemon ball. All right, in Cinema 4D, create a new sphere. That will be our base. Now go to display and activate quick shading. We can see all the shades. And under object, we need to uh, change the segments to 100. This will make our sphere to be very smooth. And we need to change the tab to hemisphere. As you can see, uh, this cuts our model into half. So next, let's zoom in and see so that it can be very visible and let's select everything and make it editable next click on polygons and select loop selection let's cut the last part of our sphere click delete then go to select and select all the polygons and i want to extrude this right click and go to extrude click on create cap and change the offset to 6. Now I've created the dimension of our first hemisphere. Now create a new cylinder and rotate it 90 degrees. Under the cylinder properties, let's change the radius to 30, the height to 50. Now move the cylinder in front of your sphere. The height of the segment should be 1 and the rotation of the segment it should be 35. Create a bool and put both the sphere and the cylinder under the bool. Place the cylinder below the sphere and make it editable. Next, let's make another sphere that will serve as a center part. Let's create a sphere. Uh, let's change the segment to 100 so that it can be smooth and this one will remain as standard. Next, duplicate the bool and rotate it 180 degrees. To finalize our Pokemon ball, we need to create those two cylinders that we will put in front of our model. Create a cylinder and rotate it 90 degrees. Change the radius to 25, height to 50, height of segment to 1 and rotation segment to 36. Under cap, tick on fillet and then segment should be 5 and radius will put 2 just to give that nice edge of that cylinder. Next, duplicate the cylinder, make it smaller and bring it forward. Now scale it down a little bit. After that, select both cylinders and make them editable. So we are almost done with our Pokemon model. Everything is designed and as you can see from the render image, I'm pretty happy with this. The other thing that we need to focus on is to put materials on all the parts that we've created. I will now create material for each sphere and cylinder that we've created and place it on them so that when we import this model in element 3D, it can recognize them as different parts of our Pokemon model. And don't worry about putting colors or anything, we will do that later in After Effects. Now that we're done putting all the material on different um, spheres and cylinders, let's save the project for Cinewave. 
this is very specific because we still need to import this material in element 3d and if we don't save for cine wave basically we'll have challenges when trying to import the material and certain parts won't really be where we wanted them to do the symmetry will change and for that reason we need to save for cine wave in after effects let's create a new solid that will call e3d element 3d and create another solid for the background let's create a gradient ramp for the background add element 3d effect from video copilot and go on to setup click on import and we'll select our pokemon file that we created in cinema 4d and open make sure that you tick the use auto normal and click ok you will see that our model is imported perfectly in element 3d and from here we can start adding materials or uh, changing the environment now, le now let's browse the preset physicals and start adding on the materials that we created earlier on in cinema 4d so you can see we have the top the bottom the center the small center and the big circle so we'll start adding materials you have plenty of choices so just go ahead and choose whatever you want and put it on those uh, materials To add these lightning circles, we'll create a new solid, a white solid, and then create a mask out of that solid and apply lightsaber from video copilot as well. Then animate individual key just to match our circles and ensure that we make it 3D and follow that will follow the camera once it's in 3D. So guys, just play around and see what you'll come up with.